Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the Avengers beta which came out today. Yeah, yeah. today you could preload it a few days ago but um, we obviously got access to it today and released early so I guess that's good. Um, well I, I should say it came out today as we were recording but by the time you guys see this it would have been yesterday. What's the date so, today? Yeah. We could just say the date. 7th, 7th of August. Is, yeah. So um, that's when it came out. And uh, we've both got a chance to play it because uh, yeah. we would play it like together. Um, so I guess we'll just uh, give you guys our thoughts on it now. So I mean, we've got a lot of stuff to cover, but before we get yeah. into that, guys, um, this was this is just our personal experience with the beta. Like, um, yeah, but maybe you guys will, uh, will like it more, but some of the things we're saying are like. Maybe you guys will like it more. Maybe you guys had a better experience. Yeah, but like some it of it that we're saying, if it's like widespread, as widespread as we're thinking it potentially could be, then yeah, you guys probably won't have the best time with this beta. Yeah, but if it was just a problem more than like with our side and maybe our content Which I, and stuff. Which I'd and be doubtful of, but um, we'll find out. So yeah, it's just... Yeah, um, so yeah, I think it's worth mentioning that the beta came out um, a bit earlier than expected. Um, well, yeah. it was meant to come out at uh, 9 p.m., which is like, we're recording this video at half nine. It was meant to come yeah, out about so ha half an hour ago. But and we played it at like 12 in the, yeah, like, this morning. but it ended up releasing at probably about half 11, 12 ish. Yeah, probably and midday. So checked okay. it and then it was, yeah. it was just open. So, I mean, a beta releasing early is always a plus. So, yeah. Yeah, and it happens most of the time. So, yeah. Um, so first impressions of the game. We start off with the A day. Um, situation playing that A day level. Do you want to give your first impressions with the A day? Uh, okay. yeah, sure. Um, I just want to say we were right about the game. Uh, it's it's how you saw it basically. It's clunky. The animations aren't smooth. It feels really weird. The frame rate drops and like the way it, like load like the loading in and that kind of stuff is just really bad. Uh, we'll show some gameplay now, uh, and you'll uh, obviously throw all this gameplay. gameplay. By the way, is our personal gameplay, so we recorded. Yeah, this yeah as we were recording this, it yeah. first. So uh, it's a mix of mine and issues. So um, yeah, uh, yeah. The the just the gameplay is super sluggish. The uh, I guess we'll get onto this later about how some of the characters feel similar, but um. Yeah, overall, I wasn't really impressed with it, to be honest. I mean, we start off with, uh, we start with Thor, yeah? Am I right? Yeah. I mean, like, in terms of my personal experience with the game, as we started the game, it was, mm. I, I was having fun when I was playing as all the characters for the first time, I was having fun. With Thor, he plays, uh, like Kratos. Because of the having the hammer and being able to throw the hammer and call it back, and he plays that Kratos in the new God of like the latest God of War, um, twenty eighteen God of War. Uh, as we were discussing before, Cap and Iron Man play similar to the Arkham games. Yeah, I think that in terms of the characters, Cap and Iron Man and Thor were the three best ones. Yeah, like, they were the three even, best ones and three most yeah, fun to play with. E even though they were like. There's nothing like hugely original about their gameplay. Like with Iron Man and uh, Cap, their gameplay, uh, more specifically with Cap, it felt a lot like it was just like derivative of the Arkham games. And then each character had, um, as I was saying before, with characters that felt similar. Iron Man, Cap, and Thor felt similar to me. Like I extremely think with similar. With Captain America, he's the one I most enjoyed. Like in terms yeah, yeah, I'd agree uh, with that. Play. Yeah, I'd agree. With Captain I, America I enjoyed was... him the most, uh, which is a shame because we know we're probably going to get to play as him the least in the game. Yeah, yeah, because of what happens at the start. Obviously, um, as you like, if you seen our previous videos on Avengers, you know how we feel, especially about Captain America. You know how yeah. we feel, but to my the surprise, design still to my surprise, he was my favorite out of the, this. He was the best thing about the beta, personally. Speaking. Yeah, but you play him for about thirty seconds. <laughs> I mean, thirty I know, seconds of getting out of God knows how long. This is just like this is why it was disappointing because you yeah. obviously, uh, as you know, if you haven't heard about it by now, he dies. Like they show this straight off the bat. Dies, yeah, dies, D dies, dies in dies quotation, in quotation marks. marks. <laughs> yeah, and um, we don't really. He's not dead, but he he dies. So uh, at the start, so 
you don't really get to play as him as we go out through the beta at least. Um, you don't get to play as him any further. So from what I, from what we were able to play, we we know that you don't get to play as him anymore. Maybe yeah, like so, later so if the for game. For all of like, the beta that we played, because we basically finished the whole beta and on the mission, except for like certain parts, yeah. I think it's certain uh, parts because um obviously we'll get to that later though. Why we yeah yeah those parts. um um he wasn't available so he all you only play for him for about I would say about a minute two minutes maybe mm. maybe not yeah. even that but the the I I thought this I thought his attacks were fl- they did flow better than anyone else's his uh shield yeah better was, but that doesn't exactly mean great in, at least for me because the thing for me was this like. Uh, that's what, uh, this kind of links into like graphically as well and performance wise. We were playing on, uh, both playing on the base PS4, we were playing on pr- uh, PS4 Pros. Um, yeah. And the game performs like not good. It's just not good. <laughs> I'm sorry, like it's not the frame great. rate it's, drops. It's continuous frame rate just dropping. Yeah. Like, and uh, the game even crashed on me when we yeah. tried streaming it earlier. If you guys uh, yeah, saw if our anyone, stream, yeah, anyone uh, tuned into the yeah. stream that we did, uh, the game crashed. But we'll get that. Like we'll get into that a bit later. Um, yeah. But overall, so yeah, the, the perform- performance-wise, it's not. It wasn't very good. And graphically, I don't even think in terms of like the way it performs. I don't think it should perform like that, considering how it looks, because it doesn't exactly look fantastic. It just looks. I like, think like, graphically, it's, it, it looks graphically. I'll give it. It looks okay. It looks performing, really okay, yeah. Performing wise, both of our experiences, yours on the A day was a bit worse than mine, so I think we're going to show your footage to prove that. Um, yeah. Uh, your, you had continuous frame rate drop. Me a bit less, to be fair. I only. Yeah, really I just had, had like, I had points where like it was trying to load the game, and then mm. it would, it, it'd be like, you like when, I, I, I don't know if you've ever experienced this, basically, when you try to play a game on like a computer that's not powerful enough to run it, so there's like mm. little bursts, like the game, like, it'll sort of work, but then there's like and bursts then sometimes of, it, like, lag. it teleports forward and freezes and then just like goes Yeah, through. yeah, and then like speeds up and kind of comes yeah, back and yeah, it's yeah, doing yeah, stuff yeah. like that, and I just, yeah, it's, I mean, it's I, not, I, it wasn't I, good. I kind of found that with my gameplay once or twice, but not too much, so again, it was really m- like more based on experience, but Overall, I think it was happening to everyone because a few it early will reviews to everyone, we watched, yeah, yeah. a few early reviews we watched, they were also mentioning frame rate. So, um, yeah. But in terms of um, the three best characters are Cap, um, Thor, and Iron Man going down in that order, and then one thing I just realised though is um, maybe we think they're like the three best because again of how similar they are. Because basically, how the game the game basically works is. Um, Square and triangle d- do light and heavy attacks, which are all you really need in this game because it's stupidly easy. But again, that's another thing we'll come on to later. And then uh, L2 and R2 throw projectiles. R2 does like some sort of special ability, usually blocking. And um, the uh, and like the shoulder buttons, L1 and R1, and uh, when you press them together, they do different abilities. But the abilities felt like, even though the animations were different, they mostly had the same effect. Like, it wasn't like Thor was specialised for certain enemies, and then like Iron Man was specialised for others, and Captain America specialised for others. They all felt like the same, pretty much. Even the ranged attacks, like, I was quite shocked. Like, this is the point where I was shocked at. You know, with the range attacks, every single character has a range attack to a range. Yeah, like with the projectiles. It's quite quite far. Like, even Ms. Marvel, this is the one I was surprised at. Ms. Marvel can stretch her arms so far. Yeah, I guess she does have those powers. a throwable or something, but I don't. She she can do that in the comics. That's the thing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe you know what I personally think they should have done. Maybe what? not given every character a projectile or something like that. But mm-hmm. you be able to switch uh, over to characters. So say if you did need to use a projectile attack, you could yeah, switch, switch over to, to a one different character, character and yeah, yeah. do that, and then maybe switch back. But obviously, the, I don't think they have taken down that route. And apparently, rumors are that that's not going to happen. I would have preferred that as well, but you, you can tell, uh, I don't know if I, I should say this now, or maybe I should say it for later, but you can tell that this game is not made to be played on your own. You can tell that this game is it's intended to be a co-op game, and they realised, oh no, oh no, people want to, might want to play the single player, so they shoved AI in there, that kind of work, and then um, just kind of let you roam with the AI. Like, you don't I, really I feel like need this... AI though, which we'll get onto like later as well. Yeah, like but... the the a- the AI people, like the the people who help you, uh, like the AI helpers, I guess, or the bot, uh, other other versions of the bot heroes, they're not that like 
like it feels like they're just there to do what the other players should be doing when you're not playing a car. Yeah, I mean, I think um, with uh, the gameplay, let's swiftly move on because we we don't want to make this video too long. I know we we're right, yeah. but we, we don't want to make try this video our best. too long. So with Hulk, um, this is the one I was most excited for, but then probably the most disappointed about just because mm. of how clunky and stiff his gameplay is. Like, he's a big character, yeah, but his attacks are so slow. Oh, but I noticed you with, could, the a, with the A-Day yeah, no. part, it was more on the A-Day part than because we get to play it as Hulk, like, basically like, throughout the whole beta. And mm. on the later parts, when uh, obviously with the Abomination boss fight and then the jungle mission, I mm. noticed he was a bit faster. So it, it did pick up, but I think on the A-Day uh, part, I find it yeah. more clunky. But yeah, but one thing I would say, you know, with the charged heavy attack with Hulk, you could start charging that thing, run to South Africa, and come back, and it probably wouldn't be finished charging. That yeah. thing took so long to charge; it was so annoying. Like yeah, it, and it, like, again, it just kind of led into the you, it stopped. Yeah, charging, then so. yeah, it stopped charging, and it felt like it, it kind of led it like links into the thing where there's no flow in the gameplay. It just feels like you're just mashing buttons, hoping to try to string some sort of combo together. But you can't really because none of the animations and none of the combat really f like flows and uh, smoothly into each other. Yeah, and saying. the point of these games, like, um, I'll just give a few examples. The Arkham games, uh, the Spider-Man PS4, and... Uh, but, by the way, let me just say, let me just stop you there before you say that, because I know there's going to be people who are going to start saying, oh, well, this isn't the Arkham games, this isn't Spider-Man PS4. Well, yeah, you're going to compare it to those, aren't you? Because, obviously, they're the last great superhero games that came out, and if they can be that good, why can't this? Yeah, yeah, especially when you're working with such big characters as well. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. you would expect them not to let you down, but as I was going to say, with the Spider-Man games, Arkham games, and um, say like God of War, I'll just throw that in there because they're all very like uh, combat heavy. The way mm. you can chain your attacks and the way that the animation flows is very satisfying and that's what makes those games really good. With this yeah. game, you can't do that because the animation doesn't flow properly. Uh, even though you might be able to change some attacks, the animation still lets it down. So yeah. it's not it's a, a very well-flowing game. That's the one word I would say describes this perfectly, it's just clunky. It's like the definition of clunky. It is very I, I think I found it more with like the more with like Hulk and Thor than I did with like Iron Man or Cap or even like even with Kamala Khan I found that with her as well, that she was quite clunky only because of yeah. the other part. You know the reason that like her power is like she her hand turns big or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They they put a lot of focus into that and it slows down the gameplay. Yeah, you know I mean, even but then as, I feel like as it, you as do it that expands, as it expands yeah. in size, it goes slower. I feel like you could do that well though, because like you know, like with uh, again, for example, I don't want to keep going back to this game, but it's a good game, so why not? Uh, Spider Man with mm. that, you know, when you um, use the webs in there, it doesn't slow down the gameplay. When you try and use a gadget, it doesn't like break the flow of combat. It all like just seamlessly kind of blends in and goes well together. With this, each move feels like it's its own separate weird little thing that doesn't actually like. Ma like mesh well with anything else yeah I mean also with the the gameplay is like with Spider-Man when you you know when you grab like a piece of I don't know like an object and throw it at someone that mm -hmm. also like flows very well whereas yeah. it's kind of similar to like uh, the heavy attacks in this but this just does it, it just this game just can't handle it it doesn't flow just well, yeah. it doesn't flow very well but yeah, obviously, that was kind of what we were expecting. We didn't go in with high hopes, so this is why we're kind of saying this very calmly. Well, I, I was and going in with a somewhat open mind, to be fair, because like, even though I wasn't like looking forward to this game and I didn't think it looked great from the previews, I was interested to see how it turned out, but it's just, it, didn't, it, was, it didn't turn out well. It was disappointing. I was pleasantly surprised by Captain America, to be honest. I mean, I, 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 I could kind of tell that I would enjoy Captain America's gameplay more than the others, but I wouldn't say I really enjoyed it, per se. I just, I tolerated it. That's the that's the best way I can use to describe anything in this game. I tolerated it to get in through it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think with the other characters, we got Black Widow, which has she obviously she's her characters. She has very basic attack. I did like her mm. pistols. I did like them, like the way they. Yeah, okay, it. yeah. They're just so another you projectile. Could, you could spam it as well, which I found. Fun. Yeah, and um, uh, they were just another projectile. Had, though that's the thing that kind of annoyed me. She also has a baton attack where she like puts her baton together and starts like spinning yeah. around and you can just use that and that does quite a lot of damage. That's also quite fun. 
But there's one thing I need to mention with that. Remind me to mention something about Black Widow later on in the video with the online thing. Um, That's what I remember. Um, then obviously Hulk, like we said, was a bit too clunky on Aiden, but as it went on, it sort yeah. of got faster. Like you also, one thing I wanted to say with Hulk, I didn't love how you could, um, you know, like when you like stuck to walls. Oh yeah. How you, how you were just stuck there, like you couldn't walk, like you couldn't run up the wall and then jump up, or you couldn't climb up the wall and then jump up. You were like you plumped onto the wall and then you jumped up, or you clumped onto the side of the wall and then jumped off. Like it was just yeah. it felt. It felt clunky. That's literally the only way I could think of it. It felt it, it, it just, also, it's very stiff and yeah. very like like yeah, a yeah. unnatural flow of things. Yeah, and even though it's a tutorial level, so I completely understand why they did this. It felt it felt super scripted. If you get, like it, it, everything felt like it, it's just like it's you can only do it in one way, and you you don't have your own kind of say in how you want to play the game. I think with the He's A day thing is that it was it was always going to be like that because the A day yeah, thing is just like the tutorial yeah. part, so it was always going to be like that. So we couldn't really uh want like too much free uh yeah play out of that. But I think when we get to Black Widow, obviously we've got the first boss fight of the game. Which is Taskmaster. Taskmaster, who looks horrible, um, by the way. I don't know if yeah, we mentioned that in our last video, but he is... looks absolutely terrible. Why do they mess up Taskmaster's design, like, everything? Like, they it's not it, even just this game. Up, like, even in Black Widow, why does he look like that? He looks like a Power Ranger. He just, no, like, with Taskmaster, he's such a good character that's got such amazing potential, and he deserves so much mm. better than what he's given. Like, mm. he just looks terrible in everything. Um... So with the Taskmaster thing, his attacks are very basic. Uh, the first half of the boss fight was a quick time event, which you wanted to speak on, so I'll let you speak on that now. Mm -hmm. But um, with the cutscenes, they didn't look too bad. Um, with my gameplay, I noticed a tiny bit of um, frame drop with the cutscene, the Taskmaster cutscene, because there was a lot of um, stuff going on around them with the exploding rubble and stuff when the bridge mm. was just like getting destroyed so yeah it was a little bit but not too much um his attacks are very basic and he they were extremely easy to dodge and counter with black widow um but i didn't mind this too much as it's the first boss fight um and you can't it's kind of yeah. just easing you into the game so I it's just every I boss that we much. fought, well, all two of them, I guess, Abomination and Taskmaster, it, uh, it's literally just hammer, square, and tr uh, throw in a triangle every now and then so that they don't um, hit you. Like, you yeah. know, there's no real, like, huge amount of skill required. Like, you can shoot them with your gun as well, I guess, but it doesn't make a huge difference. I mean, yeah, with these boss fights, they're meant to ease you into the game, but they're characters that are, like, they're quite big, big characters that have um, a good potential. And they're very worthy yeah. characters um, that you could have... Um, I, I don't know, because we haven't got the full game. They might have bigger parts later on in the story. I don't yeah, I, I, feel like, so. I feel like Abomination will, but I don't know about Taskmaster. I'm, I'm not sure about Taskmaster. Do you not I die? Do you not blow up? I don't know, did you? I wasn't paying too much attention I don't to remember. that. I don't, I, don't, I don't remember, yeah. And um, so that's pretty much it. The Taskmaster boss fight was okay considering it was the boss fight that was meant to ease you into the game. And then, mm. um, we've got... The whole A Day thing in general was, like, the best part, but I, just, I didn't really like it that much, still. But the best part was Captain America gameplay in that part, but that was the whole best part, the beta. But then, obviously, mm. we get the cutscene where, um, everything just, uh, the helicarrier just blows up, Captain America dies, mm. then we fast forward. Um, Which, by the way, I, I didn't like the cutscene, you know, they had it, okay, it's like comic book art, fine, but it, it just, it didn't, it, it wasn't, it didn't look good, you know, like where the, which one? the thing where, like, they showed um, Bruce where they say, like, are oh, the Avengers threat, and he says yes and all that, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't like cutscenes like that. Like, the new Mortal Kombat games do that as well, and I think, um, Justice did it too. Not in the story mode, but like in the arcade, like ladder in the endings. And mm. I, I hate cutscenes like that. They look really, like, I don't understand why they have cutscenes like that in games. Like, it feels lazy, like they couldn't be bothered to animate it, so they thought, oh, okay, let's just have it that, uh, we can just have some pictures, like, slideshow through. It's just, it yeah. really felt lazy. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was just, like, just a basic transition to basically the next part of the game. Which was mm. the the jungle level? We don't really have much to say on the the jungle level itself. It's just that yeah. um, 
There wasn't much. It was just really repetitive. It's just playing Hulk, punch yeah, things, throwing things around. Hulk, that's about it. Pro, yeah, punching things, throwing things. But this, for me, this jungle level was where I like heavily started to notice that the animations really don't flow because Hulk mm. is fighting like a lot of enemies, and yeah, it's it's just like the animations just don't like like combo together. The combos don't go like but you can't really do any combos. It's just the mm. same like five attacks that you've got throwing a rock. You've got your, like, L1 plus R1 attack, which is like the, mm. the thunderclap, which is, is that, the thunderclap thing is okay, and then, but you can't really chain these together, and that doesn't make for a very satisfying gameplay. Yeah. Or a very satisfying experience, which is what you want out of these sort of combat heavy games. Mm. And considering and, that the missions themselves don't have too much depth to them, like in terms of the objectives and stuff you're doing, the combat's what it relies on, and if the combat gets repetitive super quick, then the game's not going to have longevity. And I feel like this is one of those games where I would play it for five minutes, but like, oh, that was kind of passable. Like, it yeah. passed a few hours, and then I just, like, forget about it. Yeah, I mean, we were, like, when we first got into the game, into the A-Day thing, it was it was kind of exciting for me. I mean, I liked it. Playing, playing as the Avengers for the first time on, like, any console for me, so I kind of got into it. Was that, was that the first time? You didn't, you didn't you play Marvel Ultimate Alliance? Uh, no. A much better game, by the way, people. It's on the play. I think you. I'm not 100 percent sure if you can still get it on the PlayStation Store, but just if you could get that Ultimate game, Alliance, it's a lot cheaper. If that counts. Mm. But Maybe Ultimate Alliance. That movie was small. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm on about. Yeah, that's what I'm on about. Oh, can you get that on PS4? You used to be able to. I'm not sure if it's still in the store though. All oh, right. Yeah. I, I mean, we played that. I played that a little bit because we used to play it when we were small. But I don't really. Yeah, play. yeah. I, it was just a little bit, not that much, but. Playing as the Avengers, like, first time as older, after seeing, like, Endgame and stuff like that, um, it's kind of little, there was a little bit of hype behind it, and... Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me, when I was younger, I, like, I used to watch, the like, the cartoons and stuff, so... Yeah, that's yeah. probably what built up most of the excitement, and then, um, I mean, with, then we get the whole gameplay where we just sort of run through the jungle, fight a load of people, um... And fight some people in the lab. some stuff, uh, break some stuff, jump on some stuff... Then yeah. we get to the and top then we get, um, Miss Marvel's yeah, gameplay, yeah, which is the first time. Yeah, we get to play Miss Marvel. Marvel, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is, which is uh, her gameplay was fine for the most part, considering the character she yeah, is. Yeah, it's, it's the same, it's the same issue with everyone's gameplay in this game, it's just clunky. Uh, I feel like with her, it was clunky because of the, um, her size increase, so when she, um, obviously her power is like, she is like stretchy. Like Mr. Fantastic sort of similar thing. Um, mm. uh, so when she punches her size of her fist increases, whatever she's using, and there's like mm. the attacks where she just grows like completely and her attacks obviously do more damage. And then. Which is not uh, ridiculous by the way. Like, one thing I would say, even though, like, I'm, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of, uh, like that version of Ms. Marvel. I just don't really find her that interesting. Like, it's nice to get Asian representation of, Superheroes, you know, I, I really like that, but it's just the character herself isn't all that interesting. But, uh, I just think that her design and the, her powers don't transfer well, like, from anything aside from a comic book. It's like Hawkeye's original costume, like Wolverine suit. They don't work in anything that's not a comic book or a cartoon. Like, it just looks stupid in my opinion. I mean, I know I'm talking about a game where there's like some big green monster in shorts running around punching people, but it, there's like, the w- the way it's just done, it's just weird. I didn't really like it that much. But then again, again, I don't particularly love that character. So anyways, I think uh, I think with her design, they just stuck to the comic thing, which I don't know. I don't fully blame them for it. But then again, they could have done it with a twist because they seem to do everyone else's thing with a twist. Yeah, the as I say, they really stick to the comic. To. They stick to the comic design with the craft designs, but <laughs> for the good ones, they just change them. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, like, they did art, you, with the designs, by the way, like, for me personally, I was warming up to the designs more. Like, Black I Widow, I, I, Black Widow, Hulk Actually, design, yeah, like Black Widow, they, they did fix Black Widow's face slightly from the, uh, other gameplay we've, we've Black seen. Black Widow's design, I liked more. Hulk's design, I liked more. Um, Hulk Iron is just Hulk, I think Iron Man's design, I really liked, to be honest. I don't know if more, I really like, like it. A lot, it looks, I think a lot more. It because, looks okay, yeah. They could have done this MCU route, which wouldn't have been a good idea, but they did this sort of comic, sort of modern-looking route, which was, I like. Thor, you said you yeah. didn't like as much, but I was also warming up to Thor as well. 
if Captain I'm America is just the one where it's like I, I know Captain for America a fact I'm just never going like that. Really, my opinion didn't budge because I don't I don't like it whatsoever. He just looks awful. Yeah. My my opinion on his shield was okay. Like that grew on me, but uh, the suit itself didn't. So that's the uh, that's the only one that didn't really budge for me. But obviously mm. we play as Miss Marvel. We get um we get to play as her for like a short amount of time. Um. Her attacks are pretty much similar to the others with, um... Yeah, light she's got attacks, your projectile. which feel the she's same. Got her, she's got her web swinging. What, what, not web swinging. She uses her arm to swing across things, which is basically a web swinging sort of feature. And um, like how Black Widow has it with the grappling hook as well. And yeah, and Black Widow has it, but you don't get to play with it as uh, Black Widow in the boss fight. But um, but that's where you uh, first um, experience the... Web, the swinging, I was, I keep on calling it web swinging, the normal swinging, mm. that's when you first yeah. experience it, uh, uh, experience it. But if you, if you don't web swing in time, you fall to your death. But I've managed that, I, I've managed the to The timing is extremely weird. I might, I, yeah, I managed to find that if I was falling to my death, like the screen was you flashing yourself, out, yeah. I clicked X and she came flying back up and it's like I revived myself. So it's very late. Like you can like save yourself very late in terms of that, which I I don't mm. know really if it's a good or bad thing. It just looked a natural. That's the thing on the it, screen. If they, it, yeah, if they do, if they use these mechanics, Spider-Man swinging. Oh my god, I'm I'm happy for the Xbox people. That they don't have to witness that. Mm. I mean, it's just like, oh yeah. God. I mean, if that was the sort of similar thing that they're going to do with Spider-Man, I don't know how they're going to do that because you have to actually. For, to, to swing in this game, you have to look at the thing you're swinging at, and, and then just tap X. click X, and then she, they just swing. You don't really control the swing either, to be honest. They just yeah, swing. yeah, yeah, you don't, you know, it just this is um, automated sort of thing. Oh, wait, one, one thing, thing with the with online, game. you know when we were playing online for like the two minutes that we played it, um, yeah. Black Widow's web swing, you could control her grappling swing. You could control. Oh, I mean, that, like uh, the war, the war table does the I think they call war zone missions or something like that. Yeah, yeah, you could control that. To be fair, yeah. but I don't know if it's the same with Marla Parker. Didn't play so, Yeah, so the um, it's just that uh, like you know you were saying how the web swinging is done for you. It's like mm. a lot of things in this game where they're just done for you, just like like that, like the uh, you know the quick time events. I I don't like quick time events in games. They feel like a cheap way to just show you the thing you're doing and then just put, to try and make you feel like you're playing along to tell you to press a button. Uh, I, feel like I, don't it's, like I feel like with quick time events, I don't mind it as much because it's done a bit in God of War. And obviously, as you know, God of War is my favourite like game like ever. Now, mm-hmm. like I played it recently, but it's like my favourite game ever. Like in, in the last fight for God of War, it's done quite a lot. It's not quite a lot. Yeah, but, I, don't, I don't like but it. You know one games, thing with, it, with the, how they do it in God of War? Uh, in mm-hmm. God of War, it doesn't really help you. It's just there for cinematic purposes. Like, so it doesn't take the boss's health off. It's just there, just mm-hmm. for, like, just to look. Sick. Yeah, that's kind of like with uh, the Force Unleashed. Where, like, in the Force Unleashed, once you depleted the boss's health bar fully, then mm-hmm. um, it thingy, you it like tells you to p- press the button, and then when you press it, it finishes it off. But yeah, yeah, I just I didn't like the quick time events that much. But um, yeah, let, aside from. That and that jungle mission, there wasn't really a lot to talk about, really. I mean, well, we've got one more thing, uh, the ab- uh, Abomination boss fight, which is the second yeah, boss Yeah, 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 aside there. from that. Yeah. Um, That's what I was going to say, aside from the <laughs> Abomination boss fight. Abomination, for me personally, I like the design. The design was good, in my opinion, to give it to mm. them. Uh, the voice acting was also decent. Uh, it kind mm. of fit. And the boss fight was very no. much just fine yeah let, let me just let me just do something in one second this is uh this is what you'll hear when you're gonna fight abomination this is this is the uh sound you'll hear just this that's the noise you're gonna hear when you fight abomination because literally all you do when you fight abomination is just spam the square button and maybe the triangle button and then yeah. he, he dies and you just, it doesn't require, it. like, you don't this, need to dodge. You like, really barely need to use any of your other abilities. It's just, it's, it's, a it's like the boss fights effect. have, have no depth whatsoever. That's like most of this game. It just has no depth. It's just, it's just hammer the attack burns and maybe dodge occasionally if you feel like you're going to die, but you don't really because you, like, it's just not particularly hard. So. Mm. I mean, it feels like a kid's game, but, like, one of our friends said it feels like a kid's game with better graphics. Yeah, I mean, we'll speak about that at the end, because uh, that's just yeah. going to be, like, an overall wrap-up sort of thing. But, mm. with the, it obviously, like you said, that has no depth. It, uh, Abomination could easily be defeated by rapidly tapping X. 
no, sorry, square, and then square, the yeah. occasional dodge, like the occasional dodge, you don't really have to do many dodges, and then, mm-hmm. um, we basically defeat that very easily. This is on normal difficulty, by the way, because it forces you to go on normal difficulty. Um, no, it doesn't, it doesn't, you don't have to, you don't have to, but we just oh, picked this. Not, I mean, halfway through, I don't it was think forcing so. you to, because he asked me if I wanted to change, and then I went onto the change thing, was and like locked? all the other ones were locked, for some reason. Okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe it does then, I'm not sure. Because I was thinking about doing that, like changing the difficulty halfway in because it was too easy. Maybe, normal, no, because at the start, I do remember, you can pick a harder difficulty, but we were playing on You can in the individual war zone normal. missions, I know that, or war table missions, whatever they were called. Mm. But, um, I mean, yeah. yeah, so this was very easy, but I imagine on hard, it's not going to be as very hard either. Mm. Uh, but um, after that, this is the part that I want to talk about, because this, this part just really stressed me out. We get a cutscene. This is like about two minutes after the boss fight, like in game time, because it happens like straight yeah. after. It's not even two minutes; it's like a second after the boss yeah, fight. Yeah, it's like it's like thirty seconds after the boss fight because um, Kamala Khan and um, Bruce Banner find their way back to each other. Hulk turns back into Bruce Banner, and Bruce Banner has immaculate clothes on. There is no, no, <laughs> no explanation. He's wearing his jacket and his uh, and his There's glasses no, as if nothing yeah. happened. There's glasses there. Where, where, where does this come from? He must from? have pulled them out of his backside. They are going to an old Avengers facility. They haven't got to it yet. Number one, they're walking through it. There's, no, there's nothing there. Trust me. There's nothing there. Yeah, you can do. it's literally These just clothes. a big, wide open area where you yeah, fight yeah, abomination. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, yeah. Basically, there's nothing there. And they go to the door after, like the door at the end of the room where you fight abomination. And uh, there's just like, um, like these electrical cell things there, but. Yeah. Um, and I know, I know it's nitpicking, but come on, I mean, you can't get things like that, right? This like, is what seriously. I, this is what I know. It's like, it was just really like, bugging me. He, you see him. Like, it just I'll, feels I'll lazy. I'll put this there. I'll put, I'll put this cutscene there now, obviously, guys. Um, you yeah. see him. It just with feels, glasses. it just feels lazy. Glasses, these, these glasses aren't damaged, is they're perfectly fine. And you see him mm. with immaculate clothes on. There's not a stain on those clothes. Those clothes look like they've just come out the washing machine. <laughs> the yes. only way I can think in my head that that has happened is that Kamala Khan was carrying it in her bag, which kind of doesn't really make sense to me either. Well, so, That's so, the only so, thing so, I can so, na- so think. naked Bruce Banner just went up behind Kamala Khan, grabbed the clothes, and then, like, out of the bag while we were playing as her, looking at some screen. I just changed. That's the only thing I can kind of piece together, kind of. Uh, again, I know it's nitpicky, but come on, you can't get stuff like that, right? Are you being serious? Yeah, I know, like, you, could you not just have him walk around in shorts for a bit? Or just stay as the Hulk yeah. for, like, two Yeah, minutes? just stay as the Hulk, yeah. And then you get to the old Avengers facility, and then, okay, he finds some clothes. Even if you find him in the Avengers facility, that wouldn't be too bad, because it's an old facility, you'd think yeah, he'd yeah, have yeah. clothes there. And he's wearing a shield jacket. The jacket's shield as well. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. That, that's one thing that really annoyed me, but then after that... um. We go to the uh, old Avengers facility, and then that's where the war table and stuff is. So you explore the. No, war that, that was where that's where you got Jarvis. That's where you got Jarvis, and then you take Jarvis to the war table, and then you put him. Yeah, in the war table and then and you just it. sort of explore the the facility for a bit. Look at the Quinjet. Um, and one thing I was uh one another thing for me was um this was personally for me because I was using a third party controller to play this game as I do with all of my games, and I have no problems with controller. any other games. Yeah. And the camera was breaking. Like the camera was actually having an attack. Like something had it. Ca- it like when I pushed the thumbstick uh, forward mm. and a bit to the, it was like it was having left. some sort of like epileptic seizure or something. Yeah, it was like it. It really just started moving fast and wouldn't stop until you just let go of the thumbstick. And then even after you let go of the thumbstick, it took about three seconds to stop. Now I don't because I switched to my normal PS4 controller and I wasn't having this problem. But yeah. my controller, my third party controller, is not broken and there's no problems with it. So I don't know if yeah, this you got game... it recently as well. You got yeah, it this, as well, this, so... this was a few months ago. So um, I don't know if this that's game... probably just, that's probably just like a fair warning, I guess, just in case you guys do use third party controllers. That's yeah. something to think about potentially. Maybe this game just does weird stuff with third party controllers. Ba- like like I said, it's based on your devices. Like if you had a PS4 Pro, you probably wouldn't experience as much frame rate drop. But it's but like with my third party controller, I um my camera kept on glitching. So I'll put the screen, yeah. I'll put the video up of what happened because I saved those videos. 
And um, you'll mm. see it throughout a bit of my gameplay as well, like naturally it just happened. And it kind of just ruins the gameplay for you, especially while you were flying the Ryan Mac, I've noticed. Um, mm. um, it kind of ruins that because it just glitches and you can't really do much while flying. So the enemies yeah. can defeat you like that. So you kind of just have to stick speaking, to your foot Yeah, speaking combat. of flying, yeah, speaking of flying with Iron Man, the, another thing for me was kind of, felt kind of clunky was the controls for uh, Iron Man's flight. So you like when you try to fly around, when yeah. you go into like, to fly around faster, it puts you back to that weird rail shooter kind of perspective, and I didn't like that that much because I don't really It was like very hard to get enemies camera. in that, not gonna lie. Yeah, it was, like, yeah. And it like, just seemed like, kind of pointless. Like it, was weird. it seemed, it seemed kind of pointless and like just a waste of yeah, time. Yeah, it felt like it could have just been like, I mean, I, I know it's like somewhat harder to do, but come on, like. And this was in the harm room, by the way, we experienced this. Yeah, which was just kind of a, kind of point. It's like, it's like, like, like a, a really simulation. That, like, yeah, which we, we'd, already, we'd already learned how to play as Iron Man, so it's kind of pointless anyway. But Yeah, oh, they kind well. of just want you to learn as Iron Man fully, um, which I, I don't know, I, I kind of don't blame them, but it, it's kind I of... Don't, yeah, I don't mind, it's just that they, they already did that, that, so it's like, okay, it's a bit pointless. And then, but... um, getting on to the last topic of this video, this vo video is pushing on 40 minutes now, so yeah, no, it's bad for I like to say, but we've covered the full beta, basically. Now, covering the last part of this video, we are talking about the online... Yeah, the online part of the... This is what you ruined play solo. the whole beta. Yeah. Like, the beta up to this part was okay. Uh, g maybe I didn't, going on. I didn't like it. I didn't me. like it, but it's like, I could see it improving. This, uh, the online does not work. It doesn't work. I don't know if it's, no, I, 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 it doesn't work on the beta, but the thing is, when the game comes well, out, yeah, that's what we, work. that, that's what we've got to go off right now, though. The yeah, online does not the, work. The, the, the online, online did not work. Yeah. work. Um, we've got, we tried to stream the online, you know, as soon as we, uh, cause online gets unlocked after you do all this stuff. Well, as soon as yeah. the online unlocked, we tried to stream. We, we, okay, let's talk about this now. We joined, we streamed, we, we put a stream on, we were in a we mission. We played for, we played for two minutes, two minutes. We played minutes. for about two minutes and then the game broke because, um, I was playing as Black Widow and your, it was your perspective, you were playing as Iron Man and you yeah. pulled the whole plus drama for Iron Man. Um, yeah, we'll put the clip up right now. As you can see, with Black Widow, I wasn't having any problems whatsoever. By the way, so one that's yeah. one thing I can say with that. The only one thing I want to say with Black Widow is that with her hair, her animation for her hair, when she jumps, there is more hair under her her just like flowing um uh, red hair, and it's blonde, mm -hmm. and it's really it's really stressing me out. I'll put does it like there. does it like blend together well? Like is it? It's not well? like it's not like how you can say it's like oh it's dyed. You know how it was in Endgame where it was just like yeah, dyed yeah, yeah. and it was fading back to like her natural color. It's not that. Mm. It's um, it's like she's they wearing a wig. Paint it's it. like her red thing. It's like her red hair is a wig on top of and her and she's just yeah. got really short blonde hair. Like you know how uh, Captain Marvel has short blonde hair in Endgame. Mm. It's like that. Yeah, and yeah. when you jump, you can see it clearly. And I'll put a clip because I was doing it and recording it just for the video. Uh. So I'll put a clip of that. And then next thing happened, you turned into the Hulkbuster. You called the Hulkbuster armor. You this played was for the Hulk horrible. Buster. Yeah. The Hulk. This is when I I I started complimenting the game. I was like, oh, Hulkbuster looks decent. I think they've changed the design a little bit. It looks a lot they, better. They didn't. By and the then way. the they game. Didn't. Just... I, I was playing as it. They didn't change it. It's the same. It looks. Oh, did you not change it? I don't know. I, it no. looked better like playing as the game. But it just crashed. It just fully the ga your game. Uh, the game broke. literally. I'll tell. I'll tell you guys after. Obviously, this, this is me. It happened to. I was. I was playing as the Hulkbuster. I jumped around, hit about two, three things. I leaped towards the car to punch it, and then the game just froze. I couldn't do yeah. anything. The game. And this froze. was all caught on stream, by the way. So we'll use that yeah. clip from the stream. We'll, we'll show you that in. now. Yeah, we'll show you that now. We'll we'll um put that clip in with our original audio, and it'll cut back to us. Yeah, hopefully. I'm, I'm playing as Iron Man right now because he's the only character that I somewhat enjoy. Oh, I can get the Hulk Buster? Yeah, yeah, Hulk, Hulk Buster heroic available. Hold on, I'll get it in a. Oh god, I've just been blasted out of the sky. Hold on, come to me. I'll call it in in a minute. The hell is that? Yeah, you can. Oh, let me. Okay, I don't, uh, these controls are proper weird. Oh, here we go, let's, let's give it a try now, hold on. Tell me if you can see it. I'm over here. Can you fly it with it? Oh my god, the frame rate is something else. 
I don't think you can fly with it. Oh, you can. So, uh, but it like th it throws you back onto the ground though when you fly with it. Okay, the guys have died in midair. What is going on? Oh, my game's froze. What is this? I can't do anything. My game's just died. <laughs> I don't think too much has just happened and it's just killed itself. Hold on, a friend didn't think can he joined the party, so I said, yep, okay, hold on, this is, this is beautiful, hold on, what's happened? Hello, I can't do anything. My game has just killed itself. Yeah, watch it, watch the stream, hold on, wait. What the? What has happened? This game is just amazing. Okay, hold on. I'm about to close the application and then restart because it's. Yeah, and it, it it didn't work. It froze. The game just froze. And then after that, when we came back onto the game, once I closed the application and was forced to end my stream because the game was broken, um, after the game had crashed, I um, came back. We came back onto the game. We tried for about 30 minutes to try and get into another game. It wouldn't work. The online does not work. Yeah, it, on this we, we couldn't connect because when we connected, um, this was on and off stream, by the way. So it wasn't our internet; it was just the game. Um, we either connected and it said we couldn't pick a character, even though all the characters were available. That yeah, I'll, put that, I'll put that notice um back uh, on the screen now because I screenshotted that as well. I'll put that on the screen now, and you can read what it said. And it doesn't let you pick a character, and therefore you can't go forward. So you have to leave the lobby and rejoin. And when rejoining. Um, it'll come, it'll come up with the same problem. And then, mm. um, if you could pick a character and you got to the final screen where you are about to go into the mission, it keeps it one kicks of the out. people out. It keeps yeah, one it of the people in out. the party out. And, um, that keeps on happening until nothing happens, until you quit the game. You can restart the game. You can do whatever you want. It's not going to change. For yeah. us, it didn't And the thing anyway, is that this, this game is focusing on the online. It's clearly like made for co-op. Yet it's doing this. That's ridiculous, in my opinion. Mm. I mean, yeah, like this game was like, like heavily basing on their co-op, like how you can play yeah, with friends and you, the, the be the Avengers player, least, with your friends. And yeah, it's not working. Because for me, the single player feels like an afterthought. It feels like, oh yeah, we need to add, like, make it single player. Let's just throw some AI people in there to do what the other players should be doing. And the AI um, aren't helpful, by the way, because you don't really need the AI because that game, this game, is that easy that you don't need your AI for help. Yeah, like I, I like uh, if you get knocked out, they revive you, obviously. But it's like you don't, like you said, you don't really need them because it's not like if you're playing hard. this game properly and not like just taking the mic running around, like trying to like get it to do something funny. You're not gonna die if you're playing this game seriously. You're not gonna die, so you don't really. Which, trust need me, the way some of these animations are, how the way some of these animations are, how janky they are, it's not hard to get this game to do something funny. So you don't have to be stupid to do it. So, yeah, um, yeah, I mean, that's yeah. sort of like, we've covered everything now. The online yeah. was the most disappointing part, can you agree with that? Yeah, and considering it's the main part and focus of the game, it doesn't work. It's yeah, just, it's not um, good. So, that was the most disappointing part. We've got all the proof for this, by the way, so, before anyone starts yeah. attacking us in the comments and saying you're just saying it for the sake of it, all the proof is in this video. These are original clips that we, we streamed these, and we were, we were yeah. raging on stream when this stuff was happening. <laughs> So yeah, because it was annoying. Yeah, it was, it was legitimately annoying. Yeah, overall, um, very disappointing. Very busy. Yeah, very um, disappointing. Uh, personally, I would not recommend paying full price for this game on release. Yeah, definitely not. I don't. I don't Maybe def in a definitely. sale, but even then, I wouldn't pay. A, I don't know. You'd probably have to pay me. <laughs> You'd probably, nah, have to pay us I, to pay this. I, I'd probably pay most most twenty pounds for this game. I wouldn't, I don't really want this game because I feel like it's going to be, the way it is right now, especially if the missions have this much depth to them, the game is going to get old so fast. Yeah, I mean, I, I, like a lot of um, other people who've played it earlier are saying it's just the same thing and it's continuous. There's no new Over thing, and over again. Same depth. I think we obviously there is, like, new enemies will come across in the game, but it's just getting old. Like, like, it gets really old fast. real fast. 
Yeah. Yeah, and that's the main problem with it. And another main problem is with a, such a combat um heavy based game, you're You need um, to make the combat good and not You need clunky. to make the combat good, you need to make it flow well, and you need to make it satisfying to play. Otherwise people that, aren't gonna None enjoy of which it. are in this game. And none it's also so game. easy, it's 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 a kid's game with better animation, that's basically it. It's be, it's well, not better animation, better, 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 better graphics. Yeah, better, better even graphics. the even though the graphics aren't that great and it runs really badly. It's, it is, it is gonna be like, so that sort of kids game that a kid can just play. Just for fun. Yeah, pick up Maybe a Maybe a game yeah, for like yeah. relaxing. If you want an actual challenge, you're not gonna play this game. It, yeah, it, it feels like a time waster, that's why I say. It feels like one of those games where you just you put it up for two hours, you play it, and you completely forget about what you've played. That's what it feels like to me. Yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say. I mean, very disappointing. Same. If I can find this game cheap anywhere, soon after release, I'll buy it and review it full game. But, I probably want to buy it more on PS5 just for like the risk of it like not like running properly because if I have to play that game similar to how it was today I don't want to play it whatsoever so I yeah. probably want to buy it on the PS5 just to ensure that it doesn't yeah I'd probably want to get it on much. PC yeah but that's well, all yeah, I have to that's say on the topic so, yeah. so we really have to say about it so, I think uh, this is going to yeah. be one of the last things we're covering for Avengers unless we actually get the game. So, yeah, and it, I, after this, I seriously doubt I'm getting the game. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Especially so, since the month, the month after Crash Bandicoot 4 uh, comes out, like Cyberpunk comes out a month after that, so. Yeah, and PS5's coming out at the end of the year, so. Yeah, so. I, it's I, like, I'm we've got a lot of other stuff to look forward to anyway, guys. We've got so much stuff coming with the, the DC fandom, the uh, Mandalorian tra- Season 2 trailer, and the actual season releasing soon. Uh, we've got mm. so much stuff, uh, to cover on the channel, so, um, yeah. make sure so you stick around for that. We'll also yeah. be covering future Marvel content anyway, because it's Marvel, and we're also both big fans of that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Which is why, kind of, that's one thing I, just, I would just say, it, we don't want this game to fail, because we love Marvel. We, we, we yeah, we actually don't game. want this game to fail. Like, but it, I've given so much of my mad- money to Marvel already that I, I don't really care anymore. Like, I, yeah. I actually want this, I wanted this game to be like a masterpiece. But and uh, it's just it, it it just keeps disappointing us more and more the more just, we see yeah, it. Yeah, and it's just it just it's just not and it's it's a disappointment. But we've got so much stuff from Marvel to look forward to still, like Spider Man Miles Morales and maybe like the future Spider Man Two game, which hopefully won't yeah. be so. Which I don't think they will. But we've got so much to look forward to that we kind of just have to dismiss this now and just move past mm. this and look towards the future and hopefully a better future for Marvel. In terms of game. Yeah, and maybe they could improve this game in the future with updates, which is probably what they're going to do, because the game probably won't be complete on launch, but... Oh, well. Yeah. I mean, we'll, so, uh, if with any updates, and maybe... Well, I think we will talk about the Spider-Man stuff when that comes out, like with the Spider-Man maybe, in this game, yeah, uh, depending on if we're interested on it or not, like, when it comes out. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys, and pretty much so, it for yeah. Marvel's Avengers from us. Yeah, for now. So, yeah. thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like. Be sure to subscribe if you like this video. Uh, check our Instagram for more videos for regular like updates. Yeah, check the Instagram in the link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.